giving glory and honor to the Almighty God today. Let us pray. In the midst of all the turmoils that we are presently facing in our lives, the pandemic that is moving rapidly throughout the land, the loss of jobs and financial stability, the loss of loved ones. But Lord, we still lift our hands to you just to say thank you for the many blessings that you have already bestowed upon us. And Lord, we give your name the glory. And Lord, we give your name the praise. Amen. The subject I will be discussing today is free at last. Free at last. No longer will I be held down. The word free, I like the definition of unrestricted, loose, unbound. Men today are in bondage because of the lies of Satan. The whole world is suffering today because of the promise of freedom, which in reality brought the greatest bondage. You see, real bondage is the bondage of sin. And whosoever commits a sin is a servant of sin. You see, sin has no dominion over our lives when we walk and live for God. Can I get a witness? Paul said in Romans 6, 16, Know ye not that to whom you yield yourself servant to obey, his servant you are to whom ye obey, whether are sin unto death or obedience unto righteousness. Well, if Jesus is not the master of your life, then your life is mastered by sin. No man, no man can serve two masters. You cannot serve God and mammon. Well, Peter described it quite well. Peter said in 2 Peter 2.19, while they promised them liberty, they themselves are the servant of corruption for a whom a man is overcome of the same is he brought into bondage. Free. Free at last. You see, sin gets a very stronghold on a person and that person find himself in grips with no ability to disconnect himself from that sin. This is true of any sin, but you got to say and you got to speak over yourself and say no longer, no longer would I be held down by this. No longer will it have victory over my life. No longer will sin be in charge. No longer will drug addiction, alcoholism control my life. No longer will sickness and diseases control my life. God is going to turn it around if I just trust God and I just believe God can and he will do it. The Bible said no weapon formed against us shall prosper. The Bible never said that the weapon wouldn't form, but it went to say that the weapon would not prosper after the weapon was formed. No longer will financial issues hold me down. I declare it. I decree it. I stand on God's promises. If I'm free, then I got to be able to hold on to the promises of God. Nothing can hold me down. I'm free now. I have liberty in God. And I'm not going to allow the things, the sin, the issues, the weights, the barriers, the blockage hold me down from moving forth in God and moving forth in my life. I'm free at last. Thank God. Thank God for the liberty that he's given us. I'm reminded when I think of the word hold me down. 
I'm reminded of a wrestler when he got his opponent pinned down to the floor. He got him pinned down to the floor. But in order for his op opponent to lose, well, he got the wrestler got to hold him down until the referee count to 10. One, two, three. And so many times in holding the opponent down, sometimes the opponent would throw their legs over on the ropes, throw their legs under the rope in order for the referee to call the other wrestler to turn him loose. Well, to avoid losing, the down wrestler must be on their feet by the count of 10. If not, then the referee count them out. Pin them down to the floor. We cannot allow sin to pin us down. Problems, situations, issues, pin us down that we can't give God the glory. We can't give God the praise. We can't mount up and move forth. Only through Jesus Christ can you ever become free from the powerful grip of sin that it has over your life. The freedom that I have in Jesus Christ is true freedom. When I'm in Jesus, I'm no longer bound. The, the song used to say, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. And then I heard another old song say, free, no longer bound. Don't have no chain holding me. Why? Because I have released my life in God's hand. And when I lease my life in God's hand, sin had to lose its authority. Sin had to lose its power over my life. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you asking you to loose the chain of sin over our lives whom the son set free is free indeed we come to you heavenly father asking you to set us free from the power of sin no longer will we want to be held down in bondage but god we ask you to continue to reign upon us we ask you, Heavenly Father, to move into our life. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to open doors that will lead to you. Open doors that will lead to victory. Open doors that will lead to us, Lord, becoming more empowered with your word and with your power. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you in advance for what you're doing in this season. Free at last, no longer bound. Amen, amen, amen.